Welcome to Belfast, a town in Mpumalanga, South Africa. One of the coldest towns you'll ever go to in Mpumalanga. They even changed the name to Emakazin, which means a cold place. Well, this is a mining town. It makes sense why there's so much coal in this area. Because it gets cold in winter, so you need some coal for your coal stove. I don't know if you're aware of coal stoves, but there's coal stoves across South Africa and abroad. But in this town, you actually need a coal stove. Almost each and every household in the township will have a coal stove so that you can set up fire and use it also to cook. But most of the coal is transported by the trucks. It goes to ESCOM, which supplies us with electricity. It also goes to what we call sidings, where it gets loaded by a train, then it's transported to the harbor, and then it gets transported to whether Europe or Asia, and so forth. But a lot of coal here goes to ESCOM, so they can provide electricity for the nation and all the nations that they sell the electricity too but we currently have blackouts but that's a story for another day today we are here to talk about belfast not load shedding where we experience blackouts to those who don't know what load shedding is so yes you will see your 34 35 tons which are these trucks that transport the coal from the various mines that we have here belfast is surrounded by four coal mines Therefore, majority of the people, they work in the mines with various job descriptions at the mines. You guys will probably know some of those jobs where some are mining, others, as you can see, they are truck drivers. It's a lot. But yes, many people in the township or around the area, they work in the coal mines. Mmm, yeah. I know if you're a South African, you're already thinking about tenders when you hear that this is a mining town. Well, <laughs> I don't know about that, but if you ever come and try your luck, good luck with that. Anyway, I hope those who stay around here don't get mad that I'm saying this is a mining town. I mean, not that we can hide it. And Mpumalanga is known for mining, especially coal, because even the next town, which is Middleburg, also has mines and then the following which is Whitbank also has coal mines so yeah if you're a tenderpreneur I don't know but Mpumalanga is full of coal that is known in South Africa now I'm just saying for those who don't know if you are watching this video from somewhere else as I previously mentioned that majority of the people here work in the coal mines that brings opportunity to the entrepreneurs or the business people, depend on how you look at it. Local entrepreneurs have businesses that operate in the mines up to the logistics of the coal. So there's business people that own these trucks, there's business people that own the machines in the mine, that have contracts of workforce. It's a lot and it's good that it also benefits the people that are from here.
what you see right now is a truck stop which also serves as a diesel depot so you can see that there's a lot of opportunity for businesses as long as you take the opportunity as it comes i mean not everybody should go and decode in the mine. now let me take you down the road where you'll see the first stores when you come into the town i mean i usually hear people saying they are from small towns and so forth this is the smallest as it gets when we talk about a small town we're talking about this place i mean you will see for yourself but then just to give you a side note there's no shopping complex at all here therefore there's no mall at all it's just we have this spa at the top that's what we call it it has a, a bank and a couple of shops your auto zone and a couple of local uh, black business owned shops where they sell food your internet cafes do you know that Amini song that says you wanna bamba you wanna chill with the big boys here are the big boys SG Code this is one of the biggest transport company in Mpumalanga and I'm sure it's not just in Mpumalanga, it's almost around the country of South Africa. I mean, these guys are listed on the GSE, the Joint Spec Stock Exchange, a super group. Check them out. We are about to proceed down the road to what I call the CBD. But first, here's a landmark. I'm sure this thing was brought here by the settlers because this thing has been here forever I've known this place nobody touches it nobody removes it they just paint it if you know what this is tell us more about it but it's more like a tractor I don't know what it was doing or was it a train I don't know or was it a roller I don't know but it's been here the whole time never been moved so where are you guys watching this video from and how many franchises of fast food outlets that do you have there because here in Belfast there's only two which is your KFC and then you also have stairs there next to Shell Garage that's just it when it comes to the big franchise names those who love McDonald's sorry you have to travel about 57 kilometers to the nearest one what else that you guys like? Oh, we don't have a pizza store also. Like Debonairs, no, we don't have that. Panarotis, no, we don't have that. We once had one in this shell garage, which was Debonairs, but I guess because of support, it had to go. I don't know the full story of it, but it was taken out. We are only left with stairs and KFC, or else we have to go to spa and buy and cook for yourself. That's all that we got here. Okay, now we at the CBD. That's the best way to describe it. But of course, it's just a two-way street. There's nothing more into it. Because remember I told you, this is a small town. We have few shops around. On our left, we have Pep going down. There's your Capitec Bank and then there's your small taxi rank. And then on your right hand side, you have your home affairs. And of course, there must be a post bank, which is your post office. Yep, what you see, it is what you think it is another spa. So we have two active spa supermarkets. I don't know why. I guess only the owners can tell us, but we only have two supermarkets, which are the spas. And then it's down the road. You see dance and some other shops. Well, that's about it. Now I want to take you to this place, which I think can actually work out. I mean, 
I wish the municipal can do something about it. Or the local business people, or maybe anyone interested in investing on this place, this area, still in the town of Belfast, just outside a little. Look at the trees. Could be a park, first of all, right? A very nice park. Could be a very nice park. But it was left to just decay in a very bad manner. Decade and decade. Just like the road. What can we say? Well, this used to be a swimming pool. A community swimming pool. You used to pay to get in and so forth. A nice place to chill. A nice place to hang out. And then what I like about it is that it's divided into two parts. There's the swimming pool part that you've just seen. Let's show you again. Somebody needs to fix the pool, man. Somebody needs to fix the pool. Reminds me of a place called Home Scene, where they say, Mr. Mayor, I want to fix a pool. This is the other part of it, which I think can be a business park, business offices, or it can be still be built, rebuilt into the community hall that this was, but it could work as a business park. But then maybe these are just my thoughts or maybe the municipal has different ideas of it. Or maybe you are watching it and you have a sharper mind. You can do something about this. But somebody has to do something here. This is a nice place. Could be a hangout where we have the pool on the side. Or it could be a district uh, a business thing. What you call your business park where you have your business offices. I mean, I've told you there's four mines around here. So all the local people that have businesses can make it a business park that's what i think it's a very green area with nice trees nice shade man something needs to happen not the portals come on come on but this is almost everywhere in south africa where you go now sadly mm -hmm.